Bonjour from Saint Remy, Laurent Array. I'm in northern France for the start of Paris Nice, one of the most important races for the Tour de France contenders heading towards July. Over the next eight days, today, March 6th to March 13th, 1,200 kilometers from Paris to Nice, well, the Paris suburbs to Nice. We have sprints, we have time trials, we have mountain stages. We should have everything from crosswinds to crashes to test the stars. Ah, they call this race the race to the sun and the sun just came out, so why not? I'm heading to the start of stage one. It's about a 40 minute drive away and I'm gonna be following this race over the next eight days. We have some of the biggest GC stars here at this race. Primoz Rolic, Max Shackman, the winner of the last two editions, Nairo Quintana, Nilsson Paulus, the Yates brothers, Simon and Adam, and the Australians, Jack Haig and Ben O'Connor. My goal over the next week is to find out from these big boys how important this race is as we head towards the Tour de France. So we're here just right by the podium. They're announcing team after team and the riders, you see there's Team Astana. They're going up to the podium. They're coming back this way. And when you get a chance, you grab the riders for an interview. I spoke with Nielsen Paulus, Matteo Jorgensen so far, Ben O'Connor. So it's a great opportunity to grab the riders and get a few words in because soon they're starting the stage. It's a super competitive field uh, and Perry Nice is always a, a real um, complete riders race, which you need to be for the tour. So. I think it's kind of a perfect early season prep race for anyone looking to do the tour. It's more just a good test of like a one week stage race in, in hard conditions. It has a little bit of everything, you know. It's, it's a good race where it has crosswinds, flat stages, always chaotic in the first couple of days, and then the last couple of days has the mountains and, and even those, those stressful hilly stages. So yeah, it's, it's a cool, diverse race. Days like today really relate to what Copenhagen and to what Denmark is going to be like. So uh, it's good to practice in this uh, in this ball game and it is an art, it's a skill and it's something that you need to get used to. That's it, the last riders are rolling out of town. I'm gonna wrap up and get out of here. And on to something more important, food. Look at this, a boulangerier, a bakery. Maybe I'll get a sandwich. So let's talk Paris Nice. This race has been going on for 80 years. The race to the sun, it was cold out there today. But I got the race book here, and this is an important one because it lists all the past winners. And you go down the list of past winners, and the recent winners include Egan Bernal in 2019 and Bradley Wiggins in 2012. Why do I mention those riders? Well, those riders went on to win the Tour de France in the same year. So although we're, what, three, four, five, six, three months out from the Tour de France, which begins July 1 in Copenhagen, this race still has significance because you can start to see who's on form here, who's laying those early markers that we'll see performing well in the Tour de France later. And Primoz Rolich is the one to watch. The last couple years, he's nearly won this dark race but it all just came apart in the end form especially last year in the final stage now you look at the stages this year stage seven that's going to be the big one it's the summit finish up to the Torini 15 kilometers of climbing and the final stage in the knees what happens here it does have significance and it also means that you're putting in your markers for the organization ASO because the same organization ASO they also organize the Tour de France. So guys like Matteo Jorgensen, who's hoping to get a shot to race the Tour de France for Team Movistar, what he does here, well, that's gonna put him in favor with the team, Team Movistar, but also Movistar wants to make a good marking here for the Tour de France because everybody wants to be in favor with ASO, and that's the biggest race organizer in the world for cycling, and they're the ones that run the Tour de France. So guys wanna be doing well as we make our way from Paris down to Nice. Baguette after baguette, wine after wine, as we crisscross our way across the French countryside. Mm. As we head up towards the sprint, 500 meters to go. Federoff decides he wants the bonus seconds and the bonus points. Gugliard is looking for it as well. Frieson is just hanging there in third place. 
Now you don't want to get too cozy in the press room, which is what I did. And all of a sudden it's 30 kilometers to go. And from the press room to the finish line, it's about a two kilometer drive. So I need to get there, park, and get ready for the finish. It looks like things could come back down to a sprint. Let's see. And now the sprint starts for the King of the Mountains. Gugiar going for the maximum points. Freeze on trying to challenge him. Fedorov is not in the game. Gugiar in a big gear goes for the three points. Alexis Gugiar takes the maximum points. Freeze on takes second. Well, good news, I made it in time. It's 18K to go, and I'm right in the feed zone here. The Peloton's coming through, chasing the three-man escape. And there they are, led by Jumbo Visma, DSM, Arkea, they're all there. We're going to get hit with the water bottle if we don't watch it. <laughs> oh, that's bike racing. And there they go off into the sun, 18 more kilometers to go. We're going to get a stage winner. Three riders now going clear, and they are all from Jumbo Visma. They've stunned the opposition's hopes completely. The big question is who takes the stage? Christoph Laporte says to Roglic, take it, because they know he needs the bonuses, but Christoph Laporte wins the stage. Alongside him, Wout Van Aert and Primoz Roglic. Wow, wow, wow. Will you look at that? The sun is setting right back down there. That's the finish line. We just finished stage one of Paris Nice, and already we were treated to a show, and already we got a sign of how important this race is as you're going for the Tour de France later on the season, three months down the line because Jumbo Visma, they dominated in a race that many haven't seen like that before. Three men riding away solo and to the sunset. One of their new riders, Frenchman Christophe Laporte, signed for the year 2022, won the stage. Primoz Roglic second, Walt Van Aert third. That trio rode away in the final and they showed that they're a force to be reckoned with. Primoz Roglic wants to win the Tour de France for the first time in his career, wants to give Jumbo Visma its first Tour de France victory. And today's stage, stage one of Paris Nice, put it down on your calendar because this could have been a stepping stone towards that. We saw a massive signal today from Jumbo Visma and what a great day of racing here at Paris Nice.